Imagine a scenario where you could have a device, you have a pain in your child's stomach or abdomen, you can just point the device, press a button, the image is acquired and sent to your physician via your cell phone, and within five minutes, your physician can tell you if there's a major issue or not. Butterfly Network, a tech startup located in quiet Guilford, Connecticut, is on the verge of revolutionizing healthcare around the world. Founded in 2011 by serial entrepreneur Jonathan Rothberg, Butterfly is working on making the ultrasound accessible to the masses. I've seen the birth of parenteral nutrition, the evolution of antibiotics, balloon angioplasty and stenting. There's so many changes that I've seen. I've never seen anything quite like this. The device, called the Butterfly IQ, can plug directly into an iPhone and opens through an app, a significant upgrade from the current ultrasound technology. A typical ultrasound system that you might find today would be anywhere from 25,000 to 100 to 200,000 for the most sophisticated systems. They look almost like uh, the cockpit of an airplane. This device is under $2,000, so you're a tenth of the price of even the most affordable device before us. To create the Butterfly IQ, engineers had to cram all of the existing ultrasound technology onto a tiny silicon chip. Ultrasound technology has been in clinical use since the late 60s. And since that time, it's actually been based off the same fundamental hardware technology. So they have these miniaturized drums that sit on a silicon chip that vibrate. And, they, and there are almost 9,000 of them that can be individually controlled. Each of the rectangles on this wafer is a complete ultrasound system. And ultimately, it goes into the head of the device. And so the entirety of the ultrasound cart and the manufacturing process has been shrunk down to what you see here on the table. It gives us the ability to make instant decisions, which is critically important in some situations. And I can tell you as a vascular surgeon fixing aneurysms, the minutes that you save are the difference sometimes between winning and losing that battle. Before the device was even approved by the FDA, it had already saved a life, John's. We were in the process of getting FDA clearance for our devices, doing the testing, and I noticed a little bit of fullness under the corner of my jaw. And under normal circumstances, I would have just ignored it. Sometimes you get lymph nodes in your neck. I had a little cold, but I realized I have an entire imaging system sitting in my hand. I plugged the probe into my phone, put it up to my neck, and there was that moment of, uh-oh, and I was able to see a large mass that was hiding underneath the angle of, of my neck. I utilized our cloud, if you will, sent the image to, to my doctor who looked at it and said, you need to come home, we need to take a look at this. And as it turns out, it was a metastatic cancer from the base of my tongue. So if you want to look at the history of Butterfly, I'm patient number one. The device is already available to medical professionals. The long-term goal is putting it in the hands of patients around the globe. And one of the challenges is protecting the psychological well-being of the user. We don't want someone looking at home and go, oh my God, what's that? For a layperson or somebody using this device at home, you would not be seeing your internals or the traditional image. By doing this, we can ensure that our patients have confidence and feel secure in the use of the device and that they know that on the receiving end there's a professional that has the ability to interpret and understand what's going on. Butterfly Network is still developing the user interaction for patients, making sure it's safe. Regardless, the company believes the benefits outweigh the risks. If you look at it, you know, every 90 seconds a, a lady dies from complications of, of childbirth over in Africa. Instantly, that's changed when healthcare workers have this device in hand. Think about this through history. Where did the thermometer start? It started in hospitals. They weren't in the home, and they made their way home. Where were blood pressure cuffs? They were only in the hospital. You went to the doctor to check your blood pressure. Now you can do it at the corner drugstore. I'm pretty confident that we can follow in that pathway and be very responsible with ultrasound and do exactly the same thing.